Welcome to Creative Fox. I want to find out how I can most efficiently build my coil. I know you can calculate uh, ampere turns versus resistance and magnetic field and so on, but I was useless at maths at school, so the only way I can do it is by practical means and see how many turns I need on there to repel the, the magnet most efficiently. If I have too many turns on there, um, then the resistance will start kicking in and it will cease to repel the magnet so well or indeed attract it if it's inside it so the best way is just to simply count the turns and I've got uh, turns um, counter there <coughs> and see how many it takes to have that optimum uh, magnetic effect on the magnet so here goes, here's winding the coil And uh, I'll just turn it over, make it as neat as possible on the journey back. And what I'll do, I'll come back to you later and uh, tell you how we're progressing. Well, here we are with um, 300 turns on the coil. I've applied 5 volts, nearly 5 volts, we'll tweak that up to 5 volts, and that's it, and we see there's um, 760 milliamps, and if we see how far that's moved the magnet, when I remove the voltage and apply the voltage, that's 7 millimetres. Here's one I did earlier, uh, using this method. So um, we'll see how we get on with this one as well. Well here we are at 672 turns now. Um, it's gone a little bit flaffy in the middle but still better than the uh, copper wire manufacturers. <coughs> Putting now on it 5 volts. Uh, it will be 5 volts with a little tweak and it's at about 390 milliamps so we've got 12.82 ohms and we can see applying the 5 volts across there we just give it another little shunt it goes to just a centimetre 10 millimetres so you can see now that just that half as many windings again um, <coughs> has increased the uh, effect double What I'm doing now is deliberately overwinding the coil to see what effect resistance has on the on the ampere turns and the effect of the magnetism. Let's speed it up a bit now. Now you can see I've got 817 turns on there. I'm applying exactly 5 volts. I'm measuring 300 milliamps and when I apply the power we'll see that the magnet moves just just about 9 millimeters the same as last time so very little improvement for an extra uh, 200 windings or so a very quick way of unwinding coils from a bobbin back onto the supply spool.